Hello, fellow Rosarians. Thank you for joining me today. Look at this. This is the second unboxing that I'm doing this season. This came from our good friends at Heirloom Roses. Let me see how we want to open this. Um, I have two orders in with them this year. So I can't remember which one this is, but I'm expecting it's going to be one rose. We've unboxed from them before and they have wonderful quality potted roses. And um, so these will be own root. And look at this baby. This is looking really good here. What do we look for when we unbox a potted rose? I know we've talked about what we look for with a bare root, but what do we look for with a, ooh, I saw the variety, I'm excited. What do we look for when we look for a potted rose? So when you get a potted rose, you want to make sure that um, the soil is covered. So the whole bottom part, because you want this rose to stay moist through shipment. You don't want the uh, the canes covered on a potted rose. That would be just for bare root. You want to look at it and if it's flushing out, make sure that there's no pest or disease and this is not. And I think one of you asked me recently, you got a potted rose in the mail and you said, is it okay that the leaves look yellow like this? A hundred percent, you guys, because this rose started flushing out while it was in the box and it doesn't have sunlight to green it up so it's going to green up pretty quick but now you want to be careful because the temperatures here right now are in the 30s 40s and so i want to make sure because this is a potted rose and it's not asleep like a dormant rose um, that i get this used to being outside very gently. Um, so you, it, the term is called hardening in. And so for this, I'm going to uh, make sure it's got water, that the soil is moist, and then I'm probably gonna put it um, just in my garage. I'm in zone eight. And so until the temperatures are consistently probably above 50 degrees, um, it's going to be you know, either up against the house or in the garage. And then when you're ready to harden it up, you, what you do is you're gonna take it out of its location and then bring it outside for an hour take it back in and then slowly build up the amount of time every day that it's used to being outside and sometimes depending on which location you are in if it if that sun is beating down when you get one of these potted roses you can even sit a chair over it to shield the sun a little bit for your rose but anyways let's get back to what we look for when we're unboxing a potted rose so when we unbox a potted rose we want to make sure that there's no pest no disease um, they are not going to have three canes the size of a pencil because that's grading for a bare root that's like a grade one. What we want to make sure with this rose is that it's the size that we ordered. And this is um, a almost, I think it's a three quart or a gallon size. This is what I ordered. And what you do with a rose that you purchase uh, that's potted is you lift it out um, to make sure that it's fully rooted to um, the pot. And so in this case, it stays together and you can see that the roots are fully rooted out to the entire exterior of the pot. You just don't want a vendor to take a little baby band rose, put it in a one gallon pot, fill it with soil and say, ta-da, it's a one gallon. You wanna make sure that it's fully rooted out. So for my potted roses, I keep them in their pots until they are potted up to this size, one gallon. Once we get to this size, they're ready to go into the ground. So as I shared with you, we are going to um, harden this in, and then I will put it directly into the ground with Biotone. So I wanna share with you what variety I got. I'm so excited about this. This rose is called Loves Me, Loves Me Not. And it is a new variety, very new this year, and it's from the Star Roses collection. And this rose supposedly has more blooms or more petals than any other rose out there right now. And that's what I'm so excited. So not only is it fragrant, but it's going to be very highly petaled. And I just couldn't wait to give that a try. So let me read it to you really quick so that you can hear about this variety. 
So look at that color on that rose. Wow. Okay. Heirloom says, loves me, loves me not is a beautiful Mayan rose that features deep rose pink cupped flowers measuring almost six inches in diameter with over 200 plus petals per blossom. We love her strong fragrance of lilac, gardenia, and fruit. Oh my gosh, gardenia and lilac. Ah! <laughs> loves me, loves me not is a great cutting rose and perfect for pots. With a compact growth habit, this is a lovely addition for the front of any garden bed um, or on a patio or porch. So let's look at the hardiness zone. I'm gonna pop that up here for you guys to see. It looks like six through 11. They're saying front of the border, but this could be a five foot tall rose. So just be aware of that. For me, this might find its way towards the back. It's going to be uh, two to, to three foot wide. So Mayan and Cordaz, I love their roses. They're very healthy for us. They usually have very dark green leaves and they're resistant to black spot for me in zone seven where we have a really high humidity. So Erlen would like to do a giveaway with this unboxing. I'm glad to partner with them and they would like to give away a new rose for me. This is a Ludwig rose and I want you guys to learn about Ludwig with me. Um, Ludwig, is, the rose that we're going to be giving away is called La Florette. Now let me show a picture here for you of that rose and it says La Florette is a hybrid tea rose that wishes it was a climbing rose reaching heights of six and seven foot tall. Her large blooms have dark pink centers blending to gentle apricot and ending with a light golden color on the outside petals. We love her moderate fragrance and how her petals curl back ever so slightly as the blossoms age. A must have for lovers of Ludwig roses. So this uh, hardiness zone is six to 10, moderately fragrant and the approximate size, you're gonna wanna put this one of course to the back of the border, six foot by three foot wide. So what I'd like for you to do is we're gonna be giving away the La Florette Rose to one winner and I'll put the details here for you. But I'd like for you to also look at the other Ludwig Roses that are on their site. I want you to comment below with your favorite from the Ludwig Roses. Thank you to Heirloom for offering a giveaway and I appreciate you watching Rosebuds. I'll see you in the next video.